attributes. Attributes allow us to specify the behavior or the functionality of our elements. Sometimes the element itself is not enough for the browser to know what you want. There are a lot of different kinds of attributes, but let's look at a practical one. href. What? What does that mean? If you have an A tag or an anchor tag, which is a link to another page, how do you know where to link to? A link is not enough information for the browser. You also need to say where you want the link to go to so that the browser can then direct your uh, user to that link. To do that, you use an attribute called href, which is short for hypertext reference. The name itself makes absolutely no sense anymore, but now you know what it means. So how do you use attributes? Well, here's an example. In the opening tag, you put a space after the name of the tag you wanna uh, add your attribute to. Then you write your attribute name equals, and then in double quotes, you put in the value of the attributes that you want. So for example, let's do an href. I have a link here uh, to Google. It says Google, but see when I click on it, nothing happens. And that's because there is no href uh, on the tag itself. So let's add an href. Now if I click, it goes to Google. Some attributes need a value like href. Some don't, like when you wanna disable a button, uh, disabled is actually an attribute. You don't need any more information. So as soon as you add disabled as an attribute to your button, the browser knows uh, to disable the button and not allow it to be clicked anymore. Just like this. Here's how a browser renders a regular button and here's how a disabled one looks like. You can't click, yo. You cannot click. It's disabled through attributes. So you can see how an attribute can add functionality to the element. Disabled is an optional attribute. Your button doesn't need it in order to survive. But href is a required attribute. Your anchor tag will be incomplete without it. A link without an address is not really a link. But a button that's not disabled is still a button. So they're required attributes, optional attributes. They're also event attributes which respond to certain user-generated events, like a, a click or a mouse move or, or hover or, or other stuff like that. We're gonna learn more practical examples uh, of attributes once we start using them in, a, in an actual app, which uh, we're getting pretty close to. Uh, just remember that attributes are a way of specifying behavior and functionality for your element. Uh, use them wisely, they are powerful. And don't forget that some of them are required and some are optional. href? Who came up with that? Who came up with that? href. Why not just call it shremfinst href? Sounds like a typo.